enter into the word of god ayesaya uh, 27 6 the was the promise was is in isaiah chapter 27 and verse 6 meendum solugiren yesaya 27 6 yaradhu oru vers satham vaasikala yesaya 27 6 isaiah chapter 27 verse 6 says those who come he shall cause to take root in G- jacob israel shall blossom and bud and fill the face of the world with fruit இந்த நவம்பர் மாதத்திலும் கர்த்தர் நமக்கு இந்த வாக்கு தத்துவத்தை கொடுத்து ஆசீர்வதிக்க விரும்புகிறார் Even in this month of November God wants us to give us this promise verse and bless us. யாக்கோப் வேர் பற்றி இஸ்ரவேல் பூத்து காய்த்து உலகத்தை பலநாள் நிரப்பும் நாட்கள் வரும். The Bible says that Jacob will take root and Israel shall blossom and bud and will give fruit to the world. இந்த இடத்துல மூன்று காரியங்கள் சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கிறது. There are three things that are spoken in this word. வேர் பற்றுவது taking root அப்புற பூப்பது budding and blossoming kaithu balanal nirappum naatkal filled with fruits yakobikuriya aashirvadangalai kurithu inda vaakkathathum solugirathu specifically in this verse it speaks about the blessing that is spoken over jacob nam anega neram yakobin vaalkai kurithu dhyanithirukrom many a times we have meditated on the life of jacob abrahamin kumaran isaakode kumaran yakobu jacob is the son of isaac who is the son of abraham inda yakobude vaalkaila kartrudey aashirvadangal velippattathu in the life of jacob the blessings of god was revealed inda yakobude vaalkaila anega nerangalile veru undra mudiyadapadi பிரச்சனைகள் இருந்தது and there were many problems in the life of jacob that he could not take root ஒரு ஒரு சந்தர்ப்பத்துல அவன் ஊரை விட்டு ஓட வேண்டிய நேரங்கள் இருந்தது there were circumstances that he had to flee the city that he lived in ஒரு பரதேசியை போல ஒரு ஸ்ட்ரேஞ்சரை போல அவனுடைய வாழ்க்கை இருந்தது his his life was like a stranger நிலை பேர் நிலைக்க நிலைக்க முடியாத எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் பண்ண முடியாத அளவுக்கு அவனுடைய லைஃப் இருந்தது his life was in such a manner that it was not established ana appidipatta oru unude vaalkaye kartar maatrinar but god changed such a person's life amen amen nam devanaale ellam koodum there is all things that are possible Ma- with our god manushral koodadathu devanaal koodum what is impossible with men are possible with god devanaal koodada karyam onrume illai there is nothing that is impossible with him chinnavan aayiramum siriyavan balatha jaadhiyum aavan endru vedam solugirathu the bible clearly says that the youngest will be stronger and then they will become thousands. they will they will increase to become thousands avarale adu seiyakoodum and only he can do that for us amen amen yaakobude vaalkaile in the life of jacob yaakob veer patri Jacob took root avan pootu kaithu balanal nirappinar he he had a bud and blossomed and there were fruits that were filled adhe karithe nammude vaalkaila katha seiya virumbugira and that is exactly what god wants to do in our own lives amen amen ethana per ver patranun virumbringa how many of you would like to take root and be established ethana per pootu kaaikanun virumbringa how many of you would like to be in a in a in a in a in a season of to bud and blossom yema adai kartar seiya pogira because god wants to do it in our lives neenga viswasikringala do you believe in this yakobin vaalke paathina namakku adu uriyadhu endru neenga viswasipinga and if you look at the life of jacob then you will believe that this is possible and i need this in my life yakobin aashirvadhai peruvadhukku moonru kaaranangal irundathu and there are three specific reasons to receive the blessing of jesus mudalav uh, mudalavathu yakob thanude vaalkaila kartrude sandippai petravaraai irundar the first thing is jacob was a man who had received the the meeting with god amen hallelujah kartrude sandippai avar petrundathu padinal since he had received the appointment to meet with god avar ver patra mudindathu he was able to take root oru oru murai avar thanude சகோதரனுக்கு பயந்து தன்னுடைய மாமாவாகிய லாபான் இடத்தில் செல்ல வேண்டியது இருந்தது there was a point in time when he had feared his brother and had to run away to take shelter with his uncle Laban ஏசா யாக்கோபை கொன்று போடுவேன் சொன்னது நிமித்தம் யாக்கோபின் தாய் ரெபேக்கால் தன்னுடைய மகனை தன்னுடைய சகோதரன் வீட்டுக்கு அனுப்பினாள் since esau his brother elder brother had told him that i will kill you his mother had to protect him and send him to his brother her brother's home in leban or thanimayaga or sella vendiyad irundathu and he had to go alone ya adutha enna enna nadakapodu endru theriyama edirgalathai kurithu pala kelvigalodu purappittu ponar he had many questions when he had to leave not knowing what the next steps or what his future would look like uyirukku bayandu sella vendiyada irundathu he had to go away 
in fear of saving his own life ஒரு ஒரு அரிகுரியும் ஒரு நம்ம எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் ஆவோன்றக்கு ஒரு அரிகுரியும் இல்லாத ஒரு சூழ்நிலை இருந்தது it was a circumstance where there were no signs that he would be established முழுமையான ஒரு புதிய இடத்துக்குள்ளாக அவன் கடந்து செல்ல வேண்டியதாக இருந்தது and he had to go into a new region புது இடம் புது மக்கள் புதிய சூழ்நிலை எல்லாமே யாக்கோபுக்கு புதிதா இருந்தது everything was new in the life of jacob of people place culture எப்படி இருப்பாங்கன்னு தெரியாது he did not know how they would be என்ன நடக்கும் தெரியாது he did not know what would happen நான் வேறு ஊன்றுவனான் கூட தெரியாது they did he did not even know that he would even be established அப்படி செல்லும் பொழுது தான் when he had to go through that வழியில ஒரு இடத்துல படுத்து தூங்குகிறான் on the way he takes அந்த தூக்கத்துல ஒரு சொப்பனம் வருகிறது and during his rest time he receives a vision அந்த சொப்பனத்துல ஒரு ஏனியை பூமிக்கும் வானத்துக்குமாய் இருக்கிறது கண்டார் and in this dream he could see a ladder from the earth until the heaven வேதம் சொல்கிற அந்த ஏனியின் உச்சியிலே கர்த்தர் நின்றிருந்தார் என்று the bible says on the top end of the of the ladder god was present himself கர்த்தர் தம்முடைய சந்திப்பை யாக்கோபுக்கு கொடுக்கிறார் god gives Jacob a visitation and a meeting. அப்பொழுது அந்த சந்திப்பை கொடுக்கும் பொழுது கர்த்தர் தன்னை வெளிப்படுத்துகிறார். When when God visits Jacob he reveals himself to Jacob. அவர் சொல்லுகிற நான் உன் தகப்பனாகிய ஆபிரகாமின் தேவனும் ஈசாக்கின் தேவனும் ஆகிய கர்த்தர் என்று சொல்லுகிறார். He reveals himself to Jacob saying I am the God of your father Isaac and your grandfather Abraham. அப்பொழுது கர்த்தர் யாக்கோபை பார்த்து சொல்லுகிறார். And he looks at Jacob and says நான் உன்னோடு கூட இருப்பேன். I will be with you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kartrude sandipula kartha namakku kodukra oru nichayam. There is a certainty that God gives during the visitation he has with us. Na unodu kuda irupen. That he will be with us. Amen. Amen. Naan unai vittu vilaguvudumalle unai kai viduvudumalle. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Yaarume illada Yaakobukku for Jacob who did not have anybody support. Kartha solra na unodu irupen. God himself comes and tells him I will be with you. Amen. Amen. ஒரு சூழ்நிலையில நம்ம யாருமே இல்லாத ஒரு சூழ்நிலைக்குள்ள நாம கடந்து வேண்டி கடந்து போக வேண்டியது இருக்கும். There were there are circumstances that we need to walk alone that we don't have anybody to support or walk with us. Amen. Amen. No no parents covering, no no friends, no relations, nothing. Nobody is there. That time you will have many questions who will help me to establish? Amen. Who will help me to be rooted? Amen. Hallelujah. those days the lord will reveal himself to you and god will give you the assurance i will be with you amen i will never leave you nor forsake you amen fear not i will be with you and i will help you hallelujah idu da kartar yakobukku seidar and this is exactly what god did for jacob kartrude sandippu nammude vaalkil or periya maatrathai kondu varum the visitation that god gives in our life will bring about a great change in our lives kartha nammalod irundal when god is with us matra ella thana pola nadakkum then all the things that need to happen will continue to happen in the manner it ought to amen idho mudivu pariyendum sada kaalamum na ungalodu kuda irukiren solli vittar he has already told us that even unto the end i will be with you at all times hallelujah hallelujah amen இந்த முறை மாத்திரமல்ல யாக்கோபை अनेक முறை கர்த்தர் சந்தித்தார் it's not just this time that god visited him jacob has had many visitations of god in his life யாக்கோபு லாபானிடம் தன்னுடைய மாமனாகிய லாபானிடம் போய் சேர்ந்த பின்பு when jacob had reached the house of laban अनेक முறை அந்த லாபான் யாக்கோபை ஏமாற்றிக் கொண்டிருந்தார் and there are many a times laban had had cheated jacob ab eppozhudala yemaatrapattaro whenever uh, jacob was deceived kartar avane sandithar god met with jacob amen amen hallelujah yakob ver patra koodadu enbadile laban uruthiya irundar laban was very clear that jacob should not be established thanak kile irukka venum endru ninaithar he always decided that jacob would be under his control avarude sambalathai maatrikonde irundar he was consistently changing the wages of jacob ana ஒவ்வொரு முறை ஏமாற்றப்படும் பொழுதும் but each time that jacob was deceived ஒவ்வொரு முறை துரத்தப்பட்டு கொண்டிருந்த பொழுதும் even each time that he was chased away 
away kartra avane sandithar endru vedam solugirathu the bible clearly says that he had a visitation with jacob valile devadoodargal avane sandithargal endru vedam solugirathu the bible clearly speaks about angels ministering and visiting jacob hallelujah amen adu avane ver patruvadhukku udhavi seidathu and those visitations made it possible so jacob could be established illai ungalude vaalkala apdi kadandu sendru kondirukringala are you going through such a path thurata pattu konde irukiradhu pol irukringala are you do you feel like you've been pursued and you've been chased or edatha vittu or edam maari konde irpadhu pol irukringala you feel like you move from one place to the other place na or establish aaga mudiyada padi ver patra mudiyada padi kashtapattu kondirukringala are you in a position where you're not being established and you're struggling through it iniki kathra ungalku or sandhippai veithirukkara then god has planned a visitation with you amen amen indha maadathile kathra ungalku or sandhippai veithirukkara this month he has planned a visitation for you ninga avartha solunga andre enakku ungude encounter theva andavare you tell him lord i do need your encounter hallelujah hallelujah na ver petruvathu da ungude sittham it is your will that i should be established ninga bolda solla yesaya 27 6 solugirade nee ver petruve endru naan adu viswasikkira endru solli ninga ketkala you can boldly claim the word saying lord lord according to your word i believe that you will establish me and i will take root amen amen hallelujah or paradise epai kartar sandithar god goes and meets a stranger hallelujah avunude vaalke maatruvadharku and sandhippu udaviya irundathu to change the life of that stranger this visitation was god was needed inikku yakobin devanada neengalum naan aaradhithukondirukkrom it is the same god of jacob that you and i worship today yakobin devan namakku uyirnda adaikalamanavar endru sangeetha 46 solugirathu in psalms 46 it is very clear the 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 great god of jacob is our high shelter ethan per viswasikringa how many of you believe yakob ai sandithavar ungale indha maadathila sandippa the god who met with jacob will meet with you this month rendavadaga yakobin aashirvadathukku kaaranam secondly the reason for jacob's blessing vaakku thathai petravan he is a man of god who had received the promise of god ye adhe aadiyagam genesis chapter 28 verse 13 14 la solapattirukirathu it is in the same book of genesis in chapter 28 verses 13 and 14 it says kartar and the sopanathile avane and sandhitha poludhu when god had met and visited jacob through a dream thanne velippaduthinar he revealed himself to jacob alkapra avarku or vaakku rendu vaakku thathangalai kurippaga and samayathile koduthar he gives him two particular specific promises to Jacob verse 14 la solapattirukirathu Genesis 28 14 la solapattirukirathu Genesis 28 and 14 it says avar solugirar padni padithirukra bhoomiye na unakku tharuven verse 13 la irukku nee padithirukra indha bhoomiye unakku tharuven I will give to you and to your descendants the land on which you lie அடுத்ததாக 14 la solli irukkar and in verse 14 he says மேற்கே கிழக்கே வடக்கே தெற்கே உன் நீயும் உன் சந்ததியும் பரவும் என்று சொல்லுகிறார் யூ வில் ஸ்ப்ரெட் அப்ராட் டு தி வெஸ்ட் ஈஸ்ட் நார்த் அண்ட் சவுத் ரெண்டு வாக்குத்தத்தை இங்கு கொடுக்கப்படுகிறது தேர் ஆர் 2 ப்ராமிசஸ் தட் ஆர் गिवन டு ஜேக்கப் முதலாவது நீ படுத்திருக்க பூமி உனக்கு தருவேன் ஐ வில் கிவ் யூ தி லேண்ட் ஆன் விச் யூ ஆர் லைங் டவுன் ஹalleluya amen ஒரு ரூட் எடுக்கறனா இல்லனா எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் ஆனனா நமக்கு முதல்ல ஒரு கிரவுண்ட் தேவை இஃப் we need to take root then we need a place a ground hallelujah Amen. சில நேர சில சொல்வாங்க ஒரு கால் வைக்கிறக்கு ஒரு இடம் இருந்தா பரவால நான் கால் ஊனிடுவேன் அப்படினுவாங்க There are some people who have said this it's enough that I can need a foot where I can rest then I will stand firm Correct ah அப்படின என்ன அர்த்தம் ஒரு கால் அடி ஊன்றக்கு கூட இடம் இல்லாம கஷ்டப்படுற நாட்கள் உண்டுன்னு அர்த்தம் Which means to say that there are days in our lives that we'll have to go through that we won't have a foot to rest and stand upon. என்னுடைய லைஃப்ல நிறைய முறை அந்த அனுபவத்துக்குள்ள நான் கடந்து கஷ்டமான பாதைகல்ல நாட்கல்ல கடந்து வந்திருக்கேன். In my own life I've experienced that and I've been through those paths in many seasons. என்னுடைய தகப்பனார் அப்படி கஷ்டப்பட்டத நான் பார்த்திருக்கேன். I have seen my father struggle in such a manner. இப்போ கூட சிலர் ஒரு ஒரு கால் ஊன்றக்கு கொஞ்சம் இடம் இருந்தா போதும் பாஸ்டர்னு சொல்லுகிறதே நான் பார்த்த இருக்கறேன் even now i see that there are people who say i just need a resting place where i can put my feet amen hallelujah 
வேறூன்றுவது மாத்திரமல்ல ஆண்டு சொல்லுகிறார் நான் உனக்கு வாக்கு தத்துவங்களை கொடுக்க விரும்புகிறேன் it's not just this god says i will establish you he also tells us i will give you promises அதுக்கு முதலாவது நான் ஒரு ஒரு இடத்து உனக்கு கொடுக்க விரும்புகிறேன் so before i uh, before that i want to give you a place avar enna solugira nee padutirukkar bhoomi unak koduthiruven he says where you are lying down now i will give that ground to you jacob porthu varaikku yakob porthu varaikku edho valila pora edathla padutar summa edho or edathla padutar according to jacob it's only a interim place where he had to lie down avarku and edha enna edhella theriyadhu he never knew what that place was and what it is about tired aichu padutitar since he was tired he lay down to rest ana aandur enna pannirundar but what god had done and the edatha mun kurithirundar he had already preplanned and predestined that place amen jacob porthu varaikku it's an accident but for god it's a appointed place for jacob amen amen hallelujah Amen. Amen. ஆண்டவர் உங்களை வேரூன்ற செய்யும் பொழுது When God makes you to take root. ஆண்டவர் உங்களை சரியான இடத்துல கொண்டு போய் நிறுத்துவார். Then God will take you to the right place and he will establish you. Amen. Amen. Okay, உங்களை பார்த்து ஒரு கேள்வி கேட்க விரும்பறேன். யார் அப்ப ஜேக்கப்ப கைட் பண்ணா? ஜேக்கப் நீங்க போய் இந்த இடத்துல படுக்கணும்னு யாராவது கைட் பண்ணாங்களா? I want to ask you a question. Who counsel Jacob that he should choose that place where he should lie down and rest? நீ இந்த இடத்துல படுத்தினா அந்த இடம் உனக்கு சொந்தமாங்கன யாரா சொன்னாங்களா? Did anybody tell him that if you lie down on this ground then that place will be given to you? Nobody was there. Amen. But he went, he lied, but God appointed that place. Amen. Amen. When God wants you to be rooted, God will take you to the right place. Amen. சில இடங்களை கத்து உங்களுக்காக ஏற்கனவே ஆயத்தப்படுத்தி வைத்திருக்கிறார் there are places that god has already predestined and reserved for you அந்த இடத்துல கொண்டு போய் நிறுத்துவார் he will take you to that place and, and he will position you அந்த இடத்தை உங்களுக்கு சுதந்திரமா தந்துருவார் amen he will give that place to become a permanent place for you அவர் சொல்ற இன்னைக்கு அது சாதாரண இடம் it may look an ordinary place today ஆனா இது கர்த்தருடைய சந்திப்பை பெற்ற ஒரு இடம் but this is a place that has received the visitation of god இது உனக்கும் உன் சந்ததிக்கும் ஆசீர்வாதமாய் மாறப் போகிற இடம் this is a place that will become a blessing to you and your families amen amen hallelujah Amen. Amen. நீங்க வாய் திறந்து சொல்லுங்க God will take me to the right place. God will take me to the right place. I will be rooted in that place. I will be rooted in that place. விசுவாசிக்கிறீங்களா? Amen. Amen. உங்க கூப்பிடுதல் அவர் கேட்கிறார். He listens to your call. Amen. Hallelujah kathru ungalku seivar. God will do it for you. Adutha rendavathu vaakkatha enna kodukkar. And the second promise that God gives. Unakku indha edatha tharuvathu mathram illa. It's not just that I give this land to you. Nee spread out ava. Vadaka kilaka merka therka naal disagalile nee paravuva engirar. The promise comes that you will increase north south east and west. Hallelujah. நம்மள ஆண்டர் பரவு செய்வதும் பெருக செய்வதும் அவருடைய சித்தமாக இருக்கிறது இட் இஸ் தில் ஆஃப் காட் தட் ஹி வாண்ட்ஸ் அஸ் டு எக்ஸ்பேண்ட் அண்ட் இன்க்ரீஸ் ஹலே லூயா அதுதான் கர்த்தருடைய சித்தமாக இருக்கிறது தட் இஸ் தி வில் ஆஃப் காட் யாக்கோபு என்ன செய்தார் என்றால் வாட் டு ஜேக்கப் டூ கர்த்தர் கொடுத்த இந்த வாக்கு தத்துவங்களை பற்றி கொண்டார் ஹி ஹெல்ட் ஆன் டு தி ப்ராமிசஸ் தட் காட் ஹட் गिवन हिम இதை நினைவில் வைத்து கொண்டே இருந்தார் ஹி கெப்ட் இட் இன் ஹிஸ் மைண்ட் अनेक சமயங்களிலே இந்த வாக்கு தத்துவங்களை பற்றி ஜெபித்தார் many a times he would remind himself of the word and pray on that word ஒரு முறை இயேசா இயேசாவை திரும்ப போய் இவர் சந்திக்க வேண்டிய சூழ்நிலை வந்தது there was a point in time that he had to return back to esau to visit him இந்த இயேசுவுக்கு பயந்து ஓடி வந்தாரோ it is the same esau that he would he had feared and run away from अनेक வருடங்களுக்கு பின்பாக அதே சகோதரனை போய் சந்திக்கும்படியாக கர்த்தர் சொன்னார் after many years god prompts him to go and meet with that same brother esau அப்பொழுது அவருக்குள்ள ஒரு பயம் வந்தது at that point in time there was a fear that came into his heart என் சகோதரன் என்னையும் என் மனைவியையும் பிள்ளைகளையும் கொன்று போடுவானோ will my brother kill me my wife and my children அப்பொழுது கர்த்தரை நோக்கி ஒரு ஜெபம் பண்ணுகிறார் so he looks up to god and he makes a prayer ஆண்டவரே நீங்க வந்து என் சந்ததியை பெருக பண்ணுவேன் சொன்னீங்களே lord you promise me that you will increase my families ipolude en sagodaranukku naan bayandirukiren now i have a fear towards my brother neer enakku udhavi seiyum would you help me genesis chapter 32 verse 11 and 12 la irukirathu it is in genesis chapter 32 verse 11 and 12 avaru andha vaakkathathai pattrukondi jebithar when he held on to the promise and he started to pray neer ipdi sonnire lord you spoke to me this way ana ipo ennude soolnilai bayam nirayindatha irukirathu but now i am in a situation a circumstance where it's filled with fear when naan perguvadai kaatle ipolude en uyirke aabathai 
என்ன ஒரு சூழ்நிலை இருக்கிறது it's not just that i'm focused on increasing or expanding but my very existence has become a question and i fear for it ana avigal mathila vaakuthathai patri kondu jebithar but amidst all this fear and this circumstance he held on to the promise and started to pray amen ungalude bayam nirainda soolnilegalile even in your fear filled circumstances kelvigal nirainda soolnilegalile even in your question filled situation vaakuthathangalai patri kondu jebiyungal hold on to the promise and continue to pray neer enakku ipdi sonnire you spoke to me this way ana soolnilai ipdi irukirade but the circumstance has changed to be this way neenga apdi jebikkum ulude and when you start to pray nichayamagave ungalai poot காய்த்து பலனால் நிரப்பும்படி செய்வார் he will surely make you bud and blossom and give fruits that will fill amen உங்களை கொன்று போடுவதற்காக இவ்வளவு தூரம் கொண்டு வரவில்லை he is not brought you this far that you would be killed உங்களை வாழ வைக்கும்படியாய் உங்களை பரவ செய்யும்படியாய் விரும்புகிறார் he desires that you would flourish and live எத்தனை பேர் விசுவாசிக்கிறீங்க how many of you believe in this word amen Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unakku un sandadikku inda edathai sudandramai tharuven endrar. Today I will give you this ground as an inheritance to you and your families. Inikka aandru ipidipatta vaakuthathangalai ungalku kodukka virumbugira. God wants to give you the same kind of promise to you today. Nee paduthirukra bhoomi unakku sudandramai tharuven. I will give you the ground on which you lie. Nee kaal oondina bhoomi unakku sudandramai tharuven. Where you have rested your feet I will give that land to you. Adhu mathralla unai naan paravu seiven. Not only that I will continue to have you increase. எந்த ஏசா எதிர வந்தாலும் உங்க மேல கரத்தை போடாதபடி கத்தர் பாதுகாப்பார். Whoever the Esau might be that comes against you he will make sure that they do not harm you or touch you. விசுவாசிக்கிறீங்களா? Do you believe in this Amen. word? நீங்க சொல்லுங்க வாய திறந்து தைரியமா சொல்லுங்க நான் கர்த்தரின் வாக்கு தத்தங்களை பெற்றவன். You open up your mouth and boldly confess saying I am a child of God who would receive the promises of God. Amen. 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 Avaral sollapatta padiye enak nadakum. Whatever he has spoken over my life will happen in my life. Amen. Amen. He is very faithful in his promises. He will fulfill all his promises in and through your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. நீங்க வேர்பற்றுவீர்கள் நீங்க பூத்து காய்ப்பீங்க பலனால் நிரப்புவீர்கள். You will take root, you will bud and blossom. and you will fill this earth with your fruits kadaisiyaga avar aashirvadathai petravar yakob thirdly jacob was a man who had received the blessings of god genesis 28:14 la sollapattirukirathu in genesis chapter 28 and verse 14 it says niyum un sandadiyum avarkul aashirvadikkapadum இந்த பூமியும் அதற்குள் ஆசீர்வதிக்கப்படும் என்று சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கிறது the bible clearly says you and in your seed all the families of the earth will be shall be blessed ஆசீர்வதிக்கப்பட்டிருப்பீங்கன்னு கர்த்தர் சொல்லுகிறார் the bible says you will be blessed amen கர்த்தருடைய சந்திப்பை பெற்றார் he received the visitation of god கர்த்தருடைய வாக்குத்தத்தை பெற்றார் he received the promise of god இப்பொழுது சொல்லுகிறார் நீ ஆசீர்வதிக்கப்பட்டிருப்பேன்றார் now he receives that you will confirmation that you will be blessed amen எப்ப சொன்னார் தெரியுமா அது Do you know when he speaks to Jacob? நான் ஏற்கனவே சொன்னது போல பெற்றோரை விட்டு ஓடும்போது எதிர்காலம் என்னன்னு தெரியாம இருக்குமா ஆண்டவர் சொல்றார் நீ ஆசீர்வதிக்கப்பட்டிருப்பேன்றார். He had spoken this word to Jacob when he had feared for his life and left his uh, left his parents place it is that time that God had spoken to her Jacob saying I will bless you. நம்புகிறதுக்கு ஒரு ஏதுவே இல்ல. And at that point in time there were no signs to show him that he will be blessed. ஆனா ஆண்டவர் சொல்ற நீ ஆசீர்வதியும் ஆசீர்வாதமாய் இருப்பேன்றார். But God clearly tells him that you will be blessed kartar or aashirvadicharna when god blesses you adle nichi or vishesham irukum then there is something specific and special in that blessing avarude vaarthin padiye nam aashirvadama irupom according to his word we will be blessed amen Amen. Hallelujah and the Jacob kartrude aashirvadathai petrar. This Jacob was a man who had received the blessing of God. Ivar avanga veetla irukumbodhe aashirvadathin meedu vaanjaya irundavar Jacob. Even during living with his parents, he Jacob was a man who desired much the blessing. Birthright indra sheshtha putra bhaga indra and aashirvadathai than sagodaran irundhu peruvadharku thirmanitha adu petravar. This is a man who had decided to receive the blessing of a birthright 
even while living with his parents he was determined to receive it and received it rebecca oru murai thannude magan yakob edathla sonnaru onnude thagappanar isaac erakka poraru adukku munadi poi nee avarta aashirvaatha vaangirunu nanar rebecca his mother reminded jacob saying before your father dies go to his presence and receive the birthright blessing adhu mariye poi vaangnar similarly he had acted upon it and received the blessing eppozhudume karthrude aashirvaathin meedhu oru naatam udeyavara irundha he had a longing and a desire for the blessing that god would give amen amen hallelujah adu mathralla thannude sagodaran yesavai meendu sandhikka pogum poludhu it's not only that when he had decided to go back and meet his brother esau na yerkane sonna avar bhayathinal nirendirundar i already told you that he was filled with fear appozhudhu oru thoodanaanavan pola oru manusha kumaran undu avanodu poraadinaan endru bible la solapatirukirathu the bible is recorded saying that there was a man there was a son of god as an angel who would come and wrestled with him genesis chapter 32 la idu vegal solapatirukirathu and that story is is in genesis chapter 32 appozhudhu vedam solugira raamuludhu yakob avanodu poraadinaan and the bible says that throughout the night jacob had strived and struggled and wrestled with that angel poraadina poraattin mudivile at the end of that struggle and the devudan sonna naan pogattum poludhu vidigiradhu endru sonnar the angel had told jacob it is enough i need to leave it is going to it is going to be dawn appozhudhu yakobu sonna neerane aashirvadithal veliye umai poga vidamaatte at that point in time jacob asked this uh, angel saying you bless me until then i would not leave you amen Jacob knew this is the time I need to wrestle and I need to receive the blessings amen sometimes you need to wrestle to receive the blessings hmm. hallelujah amen sometimes it will come just like that sometimes sometimes you need to wrestle lord you have to bless me lord otherwise i won't leave you hmm. amen jacob did that because he knew the secret of the blessings of god many time we are thinking blessings of god means it's a material blessing of course material blessing also it's a blessing of god but not only that blessing of god will bring peace in your family blessing of god will bring joy in your family blessing of god will bring a sound mind to you blessing of god will remove the battle from your life amen hallelujah many many other blessings involved in the blessings of god hallelujah when god bless you there will be no pain in it amen amen, amen. hallelujah there will be a increase there will god will remove the fear amen hallelujah that's why we we need to long for the blessings of god hallelujah amen yakob adanal da jeum anna enna aashirvathalile um vidamaten that is the reason why jacob had prayed lord until you bless me i'm not going to give up appol the kathar ketta arvam per enna at that point in time god had asked jacob what is your name appo ka avan sonna en per yakob at that point in time he responded to god saying my name is jacob appo katha sonna ini un per yakob illa un per israel endra alaikapadu this is no longer will your name be jacob but you will be called israel israel enbadarku devunude prabhu prince of the lord endra arthama the meaning of israel is you are the prince of the lord periya or aashirvaadam avunude vaal per maarnadhu maatralla avunude vaalke maatriyathu the big blessing is not just that his name had changed but his whole life had been changed onnume illama or stranger a ponavana kathar devunude prabhuvai maatrinar a man who had left as a stranger from his parents place had now become the prince of god avunude vaalke muluvadum maariyathu his whole life had been transformed amen வேதத்தில் அவன் சொ சொல்லுகிறார் ஏசாவை சந்திக்கும் போது யாக்கோப் இப்படியாக சொல்லுகிறார் ஒரு கோளும் தடியுமாக இந்த யோர்தானை நான் கடந்து போனேன் and a rod that i cross through this river jordan ana ipol rendu parivarangal rendu companies enakku iruk andha alavukku nir aashirvadithirukkirir but now you have blessed me to have two companies of inheritance by which you have blessed me amen amen hallelujah kathar kapriyaga nandri selutinar he had blessed god and thank god in such a manner so na na emmathiram na paathramane illa endra he says i don't deserve to receive this blessing adu mathrala adukapram kathar avare neraya peruga seidar endru vedam solugirathu the bible clearly says that it was not just that that was the end 
but he continued to increase and bless jacob adala avunude sandathiyum aashirvadikapattathu the bible says that his even his family were and families down were blessed oru magan yosef da and egyptukke prathamar aanar it was one of his sons jacob who had become the prime minister for the entire J- egypt viswasikringala unga pillaingala adha maari uyetha paduvaanga nu do you believe that your children can be exalted to positions like that ipo unga sunile paakadinga don't look at the situation in which you unga vaalkela varugira vaakku thathangal ungal vaalkela varugira aashirvadangal ungaley unga pillaigalai peruga cheyyum the blessings that need to be spoken in your life are spoken over your life will be established in you and in your children's Ip- life ipo onnu illama irukalam it may look like there is nothing that is happening today ana ninga balanal nirappum naatkal varugirathu but there is a day that is coming that you will be filled with good benefits sakathude sandipai petravar he is a man who had received the visitation of god vaakathathangalai petravar he is a man who received the promise of god kartharude aashirvadangalai petravar he is a man who had received the blessings of god inda moonru iniki namakku uriyada irukirathu today all these belong to us in our own lives amen amen hallelujah hallelujah ninga and isaiah 27:6 ellaru sendu vaaya therandu vaasippom and adanbadiye nama vaalkaila nadakkum inda maadathil we are going to read isaiah 26 27:27 on verse 6 hmm. we'll open our mouth and confess and we will confess and it will happen just as it is written in that word in our lives those who come he shall, shall cause to take root in, in jacob israel, israel shall blossom and bud and, and fill the, the face of the world with, with fruit. fruit shall we stand together we are going to pray amen nam elundu nirpa